wait a minute this isn't quite right give me a second here first time transitioning between games um since i've redone my obs midstream that works there we go welcome back or welcome on in everyone if you guys are just joining us for today we spent the morning playing um animal crossing gamecube we went to the island we did um What's the word? Thank you for the follow, by the way. We um, worked on our perfect town, which is getting there. Uh, we chatted with our villagers. We did our dailies, so. What filter are you using on the GameCube version? You mean like... Sorry, what filter? Like... I just want to make sure I'm answering it right. <laughs> Who are my islanders on this island? On this island. We got Rod, we have Bob, we have... Uh, Agnes, we have, uh, Walt. We have Gaston. <laughs> oh, and I, it's one of those days. That's not a you thing. That's a me thing. <laughs> Just me not getting jokes. Uh, we have Fawn and we have Julian and we have Ed and Maddie and Boots, who was our original, our original boy. He is also a best boy. I mean, so is Bob and so is Gaston. I have a lot of best boys. <laughs> I realize this now. Uh, but yeah, welcome back, you guys. This is the town that we are going to be... Is that loud for you guys? Turn that down a smidge. Um, now we need Plucky. We do need Plucky. Um, I just had a brainwave, but it won't work. I was thinking, what if we made... Um, a little island on our own island, but I don't think I had the space. I think we did have Plucky at one point. <laughs> Islanders on the GameCube. Uh, we have, well, Plucky's our Islander. Uh, we have Candy, we have B, we have Dozer, we have uh, Stella. We have Chow, Cookie, and Kitty, and Pierce. And Queenie's the new one, I think. I think that's everyone. Said Islander. <laughs> um, that's, that's everyone. So, but yeah, welcome back, you guys. Welcome back. So again, we are trying to recreate our Animal Crossing GameCube town to the best of our abilities in this town. Um, it's going. <laughs> you make it work if you make a pond big enough, fill the middle. That's what I was thinking. Um, I just don't know where I'd put it because like. Honestly, when I look at my map, my first idea is to put it down where the campsite currently is, which means I'd have to move more stuff. Um, but we could potentially make it work. Yeah, we got the dump too. We have a whole bunch of stuff. And again, by the way, I didn't add the paths from yesterday yet, but if you guys would like to see exclamation mark designs, these are all the designs that we have currently. Oh, well, that's not right. Uh, we have currently used in our town at the moment, so. And this is where Boots' house was, so we have to fill that in. Finish the game key theme in ACNH. Find Plucky on Nook Mouse ticket, and it'll be fully done. <laughs> I do want to try and find the other villagers as well, but we'll see how that goes. Or at least some of them. Build a little small. Our little island originally for stitches on my island. It'll be smaller, but it's a doable bowling game. Boots. No, no, Boots is still here. He's still here. He's just, he's gone from there. Deals all right. <laughs> Can you imagine? The day I lose Boots is just like... You know, something really has gone down. Something really has gone down if I've lost my baby boy. I never thought I'd be saying that about an alligator villager. Uh, but here we are. You never know, right? Who are you? <laughs> Mood. Okay, let me get some fences here. Uh, I, I would give you guys a tour, but to be honest, it's there's nothing cohesive about what's happening right now. Um, so you guys will see a bit more soon here um do 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 fences making a clothes shop in my shopping district to add more to it since it's so empty like so it's not having oh barely any shops yep <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go fill in the gaps over here um, but yeah, again, if you guys want to check out the designs, I am not creative in the slightest. And I wish I was. <laughs> um, it would make things a lot easier for me, but I'm not, really. Um, 
at least when it comes to designs and stuff. So none of these were made by me. They were all made by other people. Full love and support for them. Because, like, look at these train tracks. They are the coolest thing. I'm a little bit biased, but still. We do have ground circles. We do have those. Um, I'll actually show you my designs right now. So we got the bushes yesterday. Sandra actually showed us. Uh, we have a captain poster. We have the box. We have a gyroid. Um, we do have the full ground circle, but just the circle. We don't actually have like the weird shaped ones. Uh, we have the train station and then this path <laughs> and the dump sign. Um, this path is my nemesis at the moment because I have no idea how to use it properly. So we're going to learn, <laughs> but I'll probably do that off stream because it's going to be me sitting there like not happy that I'm not picking it up fast enough <laughs> and I don't want to get cranky on stream. I like get cranky by myself. <laughs> What's the box used for? KK actually sits there on Saturday nights. He doesn't really go too far into town. He just goes to your train station and he sits on the box and performs. The path is very overwhelming. I tried to do it a bit yesterday and I just was so lost. But it's a really nice path, so I want to use it. There we go. And perfect. So we are going to try to figure out some sort of situation for the tunnels, but haven't quite decided what we're doing there yet. Um, and then the other thing that happened yesterday was we kind of redid a section of our river, so we have to re-put down a bridge. So we have to pick one up first. <laughs> um, and this is the aftermath of that situation. Yeah, Sandra, I think it will. Um, this section's real awkward. Can I like... No, see, I need all this space. I need a little space I can get up here. I think that's one space too small. So if I do this... No, that's the opposite of what we wanted. Has grass boards. What about the grass changes? So we were kind of talking about that yesterday. Um, that's going to be the downside, but pretty much what it means is I have to finish this design, this layout, this town theme, I guess. Um, before the grass changes. <laughs> and it is a gradual change, at least in this game, but yeah, it'll be a bit of an ordeal. Uh, I still think I'm doing this. I have such trouble with diagonal bridges. It's my very first time like properly doing one. I have such trouble. <laughs> oh, right. It's, it's um Sunday. We have, uh, whoops. We, there we go. Uh, we have fireworks tonight. Better to do the past thing I told you instead. It could work. It could work. So what Rosie was suggesting, um, was putting down a oh, caveman tank, uh, putting down like dirt paths or whatever, and then covering it with the design and seeing if it cuts off the grass so I could still use it. Uh, upcoming bug off in like six days. Make a building by using the shopping stall items and simple panels. Yes. Yep. That's kind of what I had in mind. I'm going to see if I can find some matching designs at least, but we'll see. Caveman. Another hint so we can trade fossils later. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, right. I would like a bridge, please. That's not how you sit on a chair. There we go. Okay, um, infrastructure, that's not how you say that word. And we want a bridge. How does one sit? I have trouble with two things in games, doors and chairs. Just for whatever reason. So if anyone would like to see as well, Isabel's outside, actually. She's outside for the, uh, uh, fireworks today. Uh, I think next week is the final firework. Oh. Wait, is today the final fireworks session? Or is it next week? That actually makes me really sad. 
All right, so this is the bridge we're going to be creating. It's next week? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, so that means we're going to be using the wooden bridge. It's the closest we got, pretty much. <laughs> next we. <laughs> next we, you guys. No one's allowed to go we until then. Stupid thumbs. <laughs> Okay, so we got our bridge kit. Let's see. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> also, friendly reminder, you guys, since we, we only have this week and I guess now next week, if you guys haven't already logged on and you want the new fireworks items, now's your time. <laughs> friendly reminder, there's bubble tea, there's ice cream. There's some cute items. Precious potato, how's it going? I love that emote. New, yeah, there's um, there's like cotton candy and stuff. It's really cute. I think this is completely weak. It's too far out. Okay, I can deal with that. Yeah, I think the cucumber and eggplants are new also. I, uh, I didn't know if they were, like, timed or anything compared to the other stuff, which, you know, is obviously here only for, um, the, uh, fireworks. No, wrong one. Voice chat with Rosie at, like, 1am because I was helping her with her bot. Oops, sorry. She took a call, but forgot to mute, but it was okay, because she was speaking French. All I heard from also it was a very excited wee! <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah, Matt, sorry, for sure. Oh my god, I... I... <laughs> this game needs a indicator. It needs a tool hit indicator, just like Stardew. There's those I'm not sure it was fake because I heard about the meaning behind them. Yeah, it, I think we've been kind of tainted by social media because <laughs> like a couple years ago, I wouldn't have had an issue with them, but now I'm just like side eyeing them. How do I manage to live like this? <laughs> Ooh, I, I keep trying to use my ladder to go across. Oh, you had missed it by a day. Oh, no. Birthday, I didn't accept it because I was in the middle of a stream. I didn't call her because anxiety mood. Um, this area is looking really weird. I'm not really digging. I don't. I don't know what I'm not digging. I'm just not digging it. <laughs> Something about this turn is really awkward. I don't like doing things diagonally, I've decided. Can't <laughs> digging it. That wasn't on purpose. I wish it was. I'm not that smart. Do I just keep making it the same size? Am I just... No, that's smaller, right? I'm doing it right, okay. But this turn here is real awkward. This side's too small. You know what? We're gonna do it all over again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry ahead of time, but like your girl can't figure out how to do diagonal things. Oh my god. Ginger, no. <laughs> Okay, okay. Let me see here. Shocks. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I 
I should just, like, I don't need to do this exact, but I, I really want to, so. Try to make a nice coffee. Ooh, enjoy. Understood nothing of that joke. It's just corn jokes. Because, <laughs> like, maze, corn maze, and then ear of corn. It's easy when you do a lot. Yeah. It was corn. It was corny. Yep. Okay, so this is this is no <laughs> game. No, this is where we're coming up from. <laughs> True. What were you reading? Oh dear. Okay, so we're just gonna make a nice straight line. Um, and we're gonna work from here. Oh my god. Chat, no. Alright, I know things are kind of chaotic today, but be good. Be good. Although low-key, Rosie has been trying to talk me into um, playing more um, games that I would have the mature filter on. No, wait. Family-friendly filter off for. Um, so... We may have our time. Yeah, Persona is one thing, and then the other thing is uh, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. Be I will cry at that game, though, fair warning. Nothing can stop me, I will. Um, and there will be... there will ne We need to have the spray bottle on at all times for at least Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Okay, you know what? What? What is this section? What is this section? Let me see. I guess it does kind of do a curve there, doesn't it? Where's my map? You know what? No, we're just... I'm not... We're not going to do anything fancy. I convinced Stormer to play Dual Destinies, it will not be family friendly. <laughs> I appreciate the fact that we all just go after certain video or at least most of us go after certain video game characters. And like this is just accepted now in here. Ooh, which did I tell you guys about the Persona 4? mod thing I got. I can't remember if I told anyone about it. Um, either way, yesterday I was fiddling around with it and there's a mod manager you can have for Persona 4, but the only reason I want it is because it has the ability to deactivate the motion blur, which I really don't like motion blurring games, um, but in Persona it was just not for me and I'm very excited to finally have the chance to like play the game and not get like sick. <laughs> Black Quill is on the same level for me as Reno is for you, if that's a comparison. Ooh. Now that's a pretty big comparison, and I'm so excited I was thinking of you when I was setting it up. I'm like, you know, I can finally experience this game that you like so much. <laughs> like, properly. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna be really obnoxious about this, and I'm just gonna swap sides as I do this, so that I know that I'm doing it even on both sides. I've had tea. And apple pie? Well then. I'm a little jealous, you know, it's fine. Okay, so there is two now on this side. And that means I have to get rid of two on this side. Oh, I'm on my way. Just, <laughs> just wait a moment, I'll be there. Now there's two on this side, all right. And now we need three. A recolor for Persona 4 that makes the colors a bit more brighter. I'm looking into getting that. But you also want to stay vanilla. I totally get it. I totally get it. I know it's as well. It's, it's hard to go back after you've 
kind of started, just like Stardew, you know. Why, game? Okay, so there... No. So here's three to match the other side. I mean, I think we need four, don't we? To be four spaces wide. So then we're gonna do... Uh, I think? Four to five, I think. So I'll start it again a few days ago, then immediately install all my mods too, yes. <laughs> oh man. I almost started a new vanilla save file on Switch. But like, I don't know if I have it in me anymore, almost. Two. Is this still three? How did I mess that up? Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, here's four. What was your first reaction to terraforming and Animal Crossing? I think there's actually a video of my first reaction to it. I'm pretty sure I almost cried. <laughs> I was that excited. There we go, there's four. You really want- Ooh, you mean like changing like NPC names? I don't think I've seen that one, that's cool. Hey Katari, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. Two... Three... And... Four? Okay, well it's looking a lot more even on the map. I think you did the hand flap. Yeah, you know I'm excited if you see me doing this. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good today. I'm having a pretty good one. I'll move it over it by a smidge. Game. Don't do this to me. Are they just not even? One of them has my ex's name. Oh, fair enough. Totally fair. Fire diagonal so dumb. Why? <sighs> I'm so just move the top up and one square. You got burnt out on it. That's totally fair. I'll always be the biggest advocator for if you're burnt out on something, just don't play it. Just, you know, relax. Enjoy something else. So if I do one of these... I know that that up there isn't angled right, but we can always move things down. You guys are making me want iced coffee. Mike left his cold brew in the fridge. And I kind of want it. <laughs> this will be the one! Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, we just need to move that down a bit. Don't steal. I mean, he's not going to be back for two weeks, so... Yeah, that's the one. And I'll, I'll sort out the water situation here. Yeah, <laughs> Finally! I hate bridges. <laughs> I hate diagonal bridges. There we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do... It'll be out of date by then. That's why I have to drink it. Oh wait, this is gonna hit that dirt patch, isn't it? That's awkward. Oh, you think I should just fill it in? Yeah, I guess this would make it a bit too wide, maybe. Let's see what you th like, what that looks like. Is the bot just like, hello? Hi, again? It's like the bot rebooted or something. Maybe, maybe Random got his internet back.
No. <sighs> game. Game, game, game. Why are we like this? There we go. Finally. First ever diagonal bridge. Yeah, they didn't have internet this morning, I know. I don't know what exactly was going on, but... Yeah, they didn't have internet. Um, cool. Oh. <laughs> I think I was right about the internet being back. Um, alright, so this area is... Good. Thank you guys for being patient with me. I don't like diagonals, apparently. Gonna have to go fight the internet people. See, now the issue I'm gonna have <laughs> is we're gonna have to fit in one, two, three, four houses between my house and this cliff. So I might have to move the river down by some, but that's totally manageable. We can do that. Switch back to desktop. Man, the Twitch app is trash. It is. It is awful. Unfortunately, I wish it was good. I know I have a lot of people who watch on mobile and just sucks to hear about, you know? <gasps> what are you guys talking about? Burritos! Bob? <sighs> he just... He doesn't want to talk to me anymore. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> it's been a while. Where have you been? You weren't gone for long? Oh my gosh, is I the only one who didn't see much of you? I guess we both got caught up in chasing dreams, huh? We should slow down and chat. Oh, Maddie, you are a lovely girl. I don't speak with you. I, I thought they were having a conversation. I always get super excited when I see villagers talking because they usually say really funny things. Where is he? Where did he- did he like- he literally ran. <laughs> Hi! Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, you finally talked to me. I keep meaning to say hi, but you always seem so busy. Oh, maybe that's why. He didn't want to interrupt my conversation. Oh, Bob. I'm sorry, bud. He's fast. He he noomed. Are you going to sit right where I'm about to be working? All right. Yeah. Stop sitting. Mm. All right. All right. I see. Uh, Fauna. You how many of you need to be sitting here? Go on. Shoot, Julian, look at your- look at his little legs. Look at his little legs. Look at how cute he is. Oh my goodness, and there's some toe beans. <laughs> oh, good girl, Maddie. Thank you. That's my girl. She listens. She's a good puffer. I don't- oh, Julian, good boy. Good. Good, good. Fawn is just like, I listen to no one. <laughs> Tiny beans. <laughs> Rod! Gosh, they're all sitting by this river. They're like, this is the prime spot for today. Yeah, Lavender Town's really, really fun in Let's Go. You're making me want to play that one again now. Tobrine appreciation. Oh, all of it. We need all the Tobians. Ollie has pure pink little toe beans, and it gets me every time I see them. Say different things. I caught Buck talking to Annabelle, and the dialogue got Annabelle angry, and then Buck and Flora have a similar combo, but it ends with Buck confused. Oh, weird! No, I hadn't seen very much of that, to be honest. All oh, right, This is where the Evil Sisters is going. Please ignore the awkwardness. See, the thing is, I completed Let's Go twice, 100, like, Pokedex-wise, 100%. I didn't do all, like, the special trainers or anything. So, like, part of me wants to go back, part of me also doesn't. Sunny has mixed toe beans. Tiger used to have mixed toe beans. Um, Kitty, she stepped on some, uh, like, some, uh, varnish one time. It was, like, a very brown color, and it dyed some of her toe beans for a while, which was super cute. Get Let's Go Pikachu. I could just steal mics, so I could do that. In fact, I think I did because I think it was in Sword and Shield if you played or had save data for Pikachu and Eevee, you could um, get an accessory or get an outfit or something, wasn't it? Oh, 
But yeah, so I do have save data on my Switch somewhere for it. Actually, is it on this Switch? Pikachu or Eevee? Six IVs? It wouldn't... Oh, I guess it wouldn't... No, it would be on this Switch. Weird. Weird. Wait, when did Sword and Shield come out again? Sword and Shield was before ECH, right? Oh! I switched switches. Never mind me. 2019, yeah. Lurking all stream, Rebecca. I hope that you've been enjoying your lurk. Appreciate you being here. No, gosh darn it, wrong button. Hope your villagers blocking the river I did on mobile. Oh, thank you! I think this coming week, you guys, I'm going to start working on our next stream moment video. So once again, if you guys see any clips and you're like, oh, someone should clip that. As long as Twitch lets you, you could clip that. <laughs> um, and it is super, super appreciated. Uh, Rosie, let me know if you need any help later. I've gone through redoing OBS and all that fun stuff, so. Played Slime Rancher. I feel like you might like it. You know what? I actually did. Um... We played it maybe a month ago, I think, on stream. A little bit more than that. And uh, unfortunately, that game gives me really bad motion sickness. <laughs> um, I really like the idea of it, though. You're absolutely right. Um, has anyone in here really played much Slime Rancher on Switch yet, by the way? I know someone bought it day one. But, um... Has anyone played much of it? Has anyone seen how it runs? Rival. Let's have a battle in the resting place of a bunch of Pokemon. Totally respectful. Oops. There we go. Uh, maybe we'll go down like one more layer here. I'm just trying to make enough room so that I could like somewhat easily fit in a whole bunch of houses because for some reason they keep spawning there. Switch version, but I've been playing it since beta like five years ago. I'm getting back into it, but on PC without knowing. Oh, knowing it was on Switch, yeah. I uh, I really wish I didn't get so sick from that game because it's a lot of fun. Got the second Alolan Meowth, and I'll evolve in a moment, which means I have the entire Shiny Meowth family till they add another regional. Yeah, that's the thing about you know getting them all right. Mad? Um, it's eventually like, you know, they'll add in more. Slime Retro 2 is a lot better regarding motion sickness. The same here, because it looked super cute from what I've seen of it so far. Slimes don't suffer any ill effects jumping into the ocean, they may even use it to travel up. Oh, weird. I always thought that they died when they went in there. Because they just kind of... Poof. <laughs> So we're just going to bring this down by three, pretty much. Into the planet slime to get popped out somewhere else. With the slime water cycle, that's so interesting. There's so much to that game, too. Ooh, I forgot to tell you guys, the other night Mike and I watched the first episode of Marvel What If? Which, if you haven't seen, it's like an animated 
short episodes about like what if something went differently in this specific Marvel story. Um, so the first one was um, Agent Carter being the captain instead of uh, Steve Rogers. Yeah, it was interesting. I liked it. Mike actually didn't. He wasn't really too into it. Um, so I think I'm going to end up watching the next episodes by myself, but that's all right. <laughs> it means I don't have to wait for him. Um, it's an interesting idea. It's a very interesting idea. I think I saw the next one is what if uh, Black Panther was actually like he was Star-Lord, not... Um, Oh, what's his name? Peter Quill, I think is his name. I still need to watch all the Marvel stuff, but it's like, where do I find the time? I totally get that. There's so much now. It's like very expansive. I'm saving it all for when I get back home so I have stuff to watch while you're cleaning. Yep. Yep. I'm the same. I like to have like background noise. Did you uh, Did you enjoy Loki? I, uh, I like that one. I think I liked WandaVision just a little bit better personally. And I haven't seen the uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier still. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that should be everything. Like a lot, but you loved WandaVision. Yeah, WandaVision was very interesting. And I also. Uh, this last weekend, Mike and I watched through the behind the scenes of WandaVision and of Loki, because they have, I think it's called Avengers Assembled or something like that. It's like a behind the scenes sort of look at the creation of both shows. Um, and I think they have one for Falcon and Winter Soldier also. And those are really interesting to watch. So disappointed by Falcon. Yeah, I saw the first episode and it really didn't sit well with me for whatever reason. I just didn't like it. I need to give it more of a chance, I know, but... I need to see that what if, but I'd like the series they put out. Yeah. Because his mom called him that, and while I saw some things on Reddit about the way he could have gotten that name, it still bothers me. It does, yeah. I, I read about that too, and I'm like, hmm. It's a little bit weird. Okay, is this gonna let me? Oh, nice. There you go. She's not even bothered. She's sipping her drink. She's living her best life. Right, and we'll redo this as well. I think I've redone this river about like five times by this point. There we go. Alrighty, so we're gonna move this design pattern down a bit, and we're also going to move down the cliff just a little bit here. So we'll do the cliff first, we'll do the design pattern after. amount of space. Hopefully. Yeah, see, when I go into, like, MCU, I'm going in without really much, if at all, prior knowledge of, like, the comics and stuff. So, like, anything that's changed or different or removed or added for a completely different story, I'll have no idea. <laughs> I'm just, like, very... Just like, oh, this is fun. Patriot suit. It was made by Norman Osborne when he was the president. Sorry, what's my watch going off for? Oh, okay. Why is this game so beautiful at night? It is. It is. I was actually thinking uh, we could also switch over to the fireworks at some point here if you guys would like. Uh, and just kind of enjoy the fireworks while we're working. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll still let us work even while those are going on. 
have that wonderful fireworks music. It used to be the theme I used for visiting Bureau Dream Towns back in the day. Okay. Hopefully this is enough space for all these houses. Maybe I should actually start like plotting out where they're all going. Been checking the GameStop website to see if my store got Spirit Fair in, and I hadn't, but I walked over there while my dad and his buddy were working. Oh, nice! And they had a coffee and stuff. That's the thing I've learned about game, like uh, REB games here. At least we heard firsthand from a, a manager just saying, like, you know, we don't usually update our online things because I know Spirit Fair isn't brand new out, but like they usually don't update them for a while because they're worried about like scalpers. Don't think it would happen to Spirit Fair, but you know. All right, Precious Potato, we'll see you later. Thank you so much for hanging out. <laughs> Rebecca, um, I want to guess 69, but that's because I'm an adult and I think that's funny. Fireworks. <laughs> it came with stickers. That's really cute. When I saw Spirit Fair got a physical release, I low key got very excited. Nice. <laughs> I think this is actually a little bit less space than before, dare I say. Forever laugh at the ones who get karmic uh, retribution upon them. Yeah, it, yeah. I'm a strong believer in karma. <laughs> Eventually they'll get what's coming to them, just like the toilet paper and uh, what was it? Hand sanitizer hoarders. Uh, how they were all trying to like sell off all their stuff because they got too much. we go. Okay, that's definitely not as much space as we had before, but we will make do. And I think we might actually like hold this in a little bit. Just kind of make it a little bit more of a gradual, like, area. Um, but this is pretty much how it looks in our GameCube town. It's a very narrow area. It doesn't have a lot really there to look at. I actually didn't mean to do it this way, but it works, I guess. Oh, there's a present there. Okay, I also have to admit I'm not the biggest fan of how close this is, but again, I can't move to uh, resident services, so... Can you guys imagine, though, if they released an update for this game, which they say they've been working on something, you know, imagine if they released an update and it actually did have the ability to move resident services and move stuff like that. I would, like, my entire layout would pretty much change. <laughs> it would be really nice to be able to move it. Um, like, even the airport, it's like, you know, whatever, I can deal with that. I can deal with the entrance of town. Um, I can even deal with the river entrances, but resident services is such a big plot of land. Uh, Brandon, I think it's seven. Seven or eight, I believe. Nice. Okay, that looks like a lot more space, so I think that should be good. And whose house? Is this Rod? Rod, I think we're gonna move him next. Um, and we're probably gonna go put him up next to Boots. Um, for no particular reason, like, there's absolutely zero reason why I'm putting them where I am. It's just... Or why they're going next to each other, I should say. My six wasn't enough, but 52 did it. Well, you know what? 
I was close with my 69 guess, I'm just saying. <laughs> that still doesn't look like, it looks like so much space on the map, but it's really not. Oh well, that's okay, we'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me go ahead, I guess. And I'll save my game and we'll kind of time travel ahead. See some fireworks, have some of that pretty music while we're working. We haven't really done that since the first Sunday in August, I think, so. We do need bigger islands. <laughs> Part of me feels... I was about to go to my gyroid to save. <laughs> um, it's not hang save in this game, Crystal. Um... Like, part of me wouldn't know what to do with Bigger Island. Part of me would really love it, though. Time traveling. How dare I? <laughs> How gosh darn dare I? That moment when the gyroid picture is too realistic. This always makes me nervous. I don't like these long... Like, I'm fine with the long loading times, because when you get into game, you don't really have to deal with long loading times, usually, but... This makes me nervous. <laughs> Come on. Just save, you can do it. I know you're thinking about your life, but... There we go. There's Gaston. Only thing that would have kept me playing ACNH. I, like, honestly, if I'm playing by myself, I don't time travel. If I'm playing for on stream or for on YouTube, definitely. There we go. This is a tend of fun place. How dare you time travel in your own game? <laughs> hey, Pepper, how's it going? If they add gyroids, that'd be really cool, yeah. Pepper, I hope you're doing good. How are you feeling? This load. <laughs> I'll never forget the first day. I think it was one of the first days I was streaming. It must have been like day two or day three I was streaming New Horizons. And I wanted to go check out a tarantula island, I think. And um, I time traveled forward a couple hours within the same day, but a couple hours. And this person came in and was so offended by the fact that I had dared to time travel. How absolute. Oh! boots <laughs> how absolute dare i it was like it was really funny though looking back on it <laughs> like i've been smoking for 60 years oh geez yeah he's wearing the uh he's wearing andrew's shirt i'm sure pretty sure that was andrew's people are dumb it's just like i it's I bought the game, let me enjoy it. <laughs> it was, yeah. I always I like to keep those designs, so it's still very firmly where it should be. Wait, I wanna see I'm assuming Bev will still be there just fine, even though I moved the design slot. Hopefully he's still there, alright. I guess we'll see. Beginning of New Crisis Time Travel Hate was a time. It was! Glam, how are you doing today? <laughs> it was... it was an interesting experience, to say the least. Didn't know about this. If you want time travel quickly, press minus, and then once the screen starts, like, closing, then just press the home button, go to your settings and change your time, then go back to AC and when you're on the main screen. Oh, yes, Walker! I've seen people say that before. I'm always so nervous I'm gonna, like, corrupt my save doing that, but... Why are you currently in Europe? How dare I? How dare I be in Europe? I love this music so much. It's so nice. <laughs> I don't know. Something about, like, August nights. I think I played a lot of New Leaf back in the day. In, like, late August before school started. Um, are you the man laying in my closet? <laughs> I have many questions. The audacity. Visiting you at random, obviously. <laughs> Visiting all my all my 
Uh, I guess UK or whoever time zone mods. I'm so bad at remembering time zones. Uh, back to this. I remember what button to hit. Working, but you know, other than that, pretty good. I'm glad to hear it. like peppers just moved without telling us <laughs> I mean that's a mood though that's definitely a mood <laughs> there we go so we're just gonna fill this in I will eventually get rid of these stairs by the way these are not permanent you know will eventually look better, I promise. It's just kind of a bit of a hassle right now. I have so many other things I want to move every day, if you know what I mean. bring this down just a little bit more a little smidge and this area should be fully okay no idea what I'm doing I love the censorship I'm here for <laughs> oh my goodness it's a family friendly version <laughs> really weird. I keep thinking that I see my screen flickering. I don't think I am, but I feel like it happens every time I look away. Hey, PG Keen, how's it going? Welcome on in. How's your Sunday treating you so far? Okay, um, so we need to move the Able Sisters. That was the next project. What's the celebration? Um, every lap or sorry, every Sunday evening in August, there's a fireworks show just in game. It's really cute. I don't know if it's specifically a celebration, like based on celebration in Japan per se, but it's cute. It's one of my favorite things, so. Oh wait, oh God, no. <laughs> Wrong thing. No, game? I wish Tom Nook as well was actually outside more often. I don't- do we ever really see him out after Resident Services is finished? Isn't everyone in the Netherlands and Limburg and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Mike got really offended one time uh, because we were watching this news channel and they said specifically, uh, Mike's town name, I don't want to say it, um, is a suburb of Toronto, and he got really offended by that. He's like, it's not a suburb, it's its own city, how dare you? <laughs> um, so now whenever we mention his, his, uh, his town or his city, um, I will purposely call it a, uh, a suburb of Toronto just to rile him up. It's fun. <laughs> it's like random in Northern Island, pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, I'm depositing. Gosh, I'm all over the place today, aren't I? Okay, um, let's talk infrastructure. Call Mike's town a suburb of Toronto to him. Oh, do it. He'll, he'll, yep. <laughs> he'll, he'll give you what for. Oh yeah, true, New Year's. That's right. I guess we've only done the one New Year so far, so. Okay. 
There we go. Ah, uh, Peachy King, thank you so very much for the three month resub. My goodness, thank you. I really do appreciate that. I hope you continue to enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your new sub badge as well. You get one at three months. I think it's three months, six months, nine months, and then every half year, I believe, after that. No, one year, and then every half year, I think. <laughs> Uh, what am I doing? What was I doing? Right, moving evil sisters. <laughs> okay, so this is where our evil sisters was gonna go. If you guys want to see the reference picture. You know what, Phil? There hasn't. I don't think they actually have the capability to say no, <laughs> which is really bad to say, but... This is what Able Sisters looks like in Animal Crossing GameCube, for anyone who does not know. Um, it's always by the beach, so pretty much this is like the best spot I could find for it. Unfortunately, we can't have it diagonal, which is probably a good thing, knowing me, because I apparently can't deal with diagonals, so... Um, this is the look we're going for. By the beach, beach. <laughs> is your character high in that foot? Listen, alright, don't judge <laughs> don't judge my character my character's living her best life over there okay uh i was gonna have it one down further but i think this is actually kind of okay a high potato i mean <laughs> oh dear Why did I put away the... I need that. <laughs> With a snow cone head. I kind of do look like an upside down ice cream cone, don't I? I mean, my character, not me. I mean, I could, but you know. I mean, <laughs> I'm pale enough to pass for vanilla ice cream. Let's put it that way. P. Aw, oh, thank you for the Pikachu. I'll turn this off in case it blocks any Eevees that might come up. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> Wonder what a rainbow flavor would taste like. My favorite ice cream from Baskin Robbins is a rainbow sherbet flavor. And uh, that's what I imagine rainbows to taste like. And I know it's a, I think it's a mix of raspberry, orange, and Pineapple, I think was the last one. So, ooh, tell me a story. Tell me a story. What sort of story do you guys want to hear today? I need some suggestions. Um... Right, we need to fix the bridges as well. Oh, could I actually demolish one of those now? <gasps> oh, which one should I demolish? I think maybe this one, because it's going to block the museum. No, you know what? Actually, let's get the stairs. We'll get the stairs out of the way. Sad Animal Crossing story. <laughs> um... An ice cream related one if you have it. Uh, the only thing I can think of is eating ice cream in my sleep. That's the only story I got. <laughs> ice cream related. I don't know if I have anything sad Animal Crossing wise. True, Courtney, true. I feel like I get asked that a lot though, so I always feel bad repeating it for the people who have heard. Oh my goodness, Squish, hello! Squish is with the 12 a month or one year resub. Thank you, enjoy your new badge. Thank you so much for that continued support. My goodness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys for putting that love in chat as well. Oh, wait, we're already building one. Mm. 
I'm good. Gosh darn it. Um, thinking of a story. Thinking of a story. You know what? I'll go with the ice cream eating one. Although there are definitely people, I think Pepper, you were referencing it just the other day. There are definitely people in here who have heard this story before. <laughs> um, but I, I'm gonna go sit right here and tell my little story. There you go. Okay, story time. So, uh, I think I was either in high school or college. It would be late high school or early college. I'm guessing it would be really late high school. Um, yeah, exactly, you've heard all the stories by this point. Um, and I am a known sleepwalker here and there. It's not as bad as it used to be. I'm. It's very brief these days. Um, but every now and then I get up and I have my nighttime adventures and I'll wake up the next morning not remembering it, usually. Um, but I will... Uh, sometimes be told about what I did, or sometimes I'll find evidence of what I did. More often than not, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. <laughs> More often than not, when I sleepwalk, I'll get up and I'll turn on the lights, or I'll turn on my TV, or I'll turn on my computer. I'll do something that I do every day. It's very, like, muscle memory oriented. Um, and then back in the day, uh, I used to sleep in a bunk bed. <laughs> Top bunk. So I used to climb down a ladder in my sleep. It was, like, very much muscle memory. Um, but anyway, it was a really hot summer. Um, we had a lot of chocolate ice cream around the house and I had just been devouring ice cream like for most of the day, don't judge me. Um, and pretty much I go to sleep one night. I wake up the next morning, no memory of having got up. I was like dead asleep the entire time as far as I knew. <laughs> and let's see what you did there. <laughs> um, and uh, pretty much I think the first thing I remember noticing was I got out of bed, I went to my desk, I didn't have this current desk, I had a very beige, like, wood desk, and there was brown smeared all over it. <laughs> and already I'm like, alright, that's weird. It's obviously chocolate. Or, like, melted ice cream. And I'm like, that's... that's weird. All right? I think my next clue was I went to go to my mirror, and I had chocolate all over my face. <laughs> Not poop, not poop. Um, I had chocolate smeared all over my face. <laughs> um, and then I think the very final clue was I went to the kitchen and my mom and I have a habit of every night before bed, dishes are all cleaned, they're all left to dry overnight. They are not left in the sink, usually, unless it's a really big load. So sink should be empty. And I come out and I see the ice cream scoop with remains of chocolate ice cream on it. And... Um, it didn't take long to figure out that I had probably, in my half-awake state, wobbled into the kitchen, grabbed the tub of ice cream, grabbed the scoop, brought it back to my room, I'm assuming, ate it from the scoop, and then put it back in the sink, and put the ice cream away, which was good. Um, yeah, I haven't sleep eight since then, as far as I know. <laughs> but that is the story of how I sleep ate ice cream, I don't remember it. Apparently, Crystal was hungry. Um, Sleepy Crystal was hungry, and... Yeah. <laughs> I will admit that was the only time I was actually scared by my sleepwalking. I have never tried to leave the house, I think because I'm such a shy person. I don't want to leave the house, even when I'm awake. Um, I, I... You know, I've never had a scary instance. I've never gone for a knife or anything like that. Like, nothing, like, that would freak anyone else out, really, unless you don't like sleepwalkers, which is fair. Um... But the idea of sleep eating and not being in control of what I'm consuming and how much I'm consuming is a little bit scary. Uh, I don't think I've done it since, so. <laughs> Used to sleep text talking about being glued to your phone. Yes, yes, I've heard of that before. Um, but yeah, that was weird. <laughs> oh, Walker, enjoy your ice cream and make sure you're awake before eating it, all right? Don't, don't be like me. That is my ice cream story. I hope that was good enough. <laughs> It was so long ago now, but it really does feel like it was not that long ago. My aunt sleeps shop. She doesn't let her phone be in the bedroom anymore. Yeah, no, it can be a little bit dangerous, like, in terms of, 
uh, finances or or your, your calorie intake or anything really. I was checking a message on Facebook. You called the new group you were modding in, like in the middle of the night. Oh no, <laughs> that's awkward. Let's see. Okay, so I think the next thing I want to work on is I want to make cliffs around the edges of town to try to, like, replicate the look. Um, it's not going to look all that good, to be honest, but because they're very straight lines, even in the original. Maybe I'll try to make them look less even. I just saved my PC's life. What happened, Andrew? What's going on? Also, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I saw- I can't remember who was streaming, but I was watching this random streamer play some ACH like, last year. <laughs> and, um... They had their cliff edges lined with bushes, and I thought it looked really good, and I think I might do that this time. But I have to actually, like, plan that out. <laughs> oh no, random's dead! <laughs> Or random. <sighs> the other day, um, some of the members of Club Tortimer did this event thing, which is so much fun to watch. If you guys aren't already following, like, all of them, feel free. Um, and I get really anxious from Among Us, and just watching them play, I was just like, this is anxiety inducing. <laughs> I can't handle this. I set the likes of Firefox OBS Discord to use my GP instead of my CPU. My computer literally usually idles at 27. It's now at 9%. Look at you go, dude. Nice. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Thank you, Pepper. Mary Ellie, hello. How's it going? Okay, so we're going to be trying to fill out the cliffs here. Town of Salem. Yes, yes, Phil. I've seen some of that. Among Us was so stressful. Yeah, I can't handle it. It's like, I get stressed from Dead by Daylight to a certain extent, but it doesn't even compare to the stress from Among Us, which is such a weird thing to admit, because, like, it doesn't feel like it would be as bad, but it is. <laughs> Capture card on the way. Ooh, it's a cheaper one. Do you even know the brand of a melee gate to stream from my Switch to people in Discord whenever I'm on voice chat, but might look into occasionally stream on Twitch as well. I hope you would enjoy it. Let me know if you, like, I probably don't know the brand or anything, but if you need any help with it, I hopefully can figure my way around. <laughs> okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have, like, a cliff like this here. Um, and then we'll have another one like down here, if that makes sense. I don't sleepwalk, but I have problems falling asleep, so I have a prescription for a sleeping pill. And in my Medicaid state, my then boyfriend of a month called me as he hung up. I went, okay, love you, bye. Oh, <laughs> did not love him at that point. Oh, dear. <laughs> Having my dinner, enjoy your food. Um, so we were also in the process of like low key chopping down trees here. All right, never mind. I was not in the process of chopping down trees. I'm having food sued. Sorry, food sued? Oh my god, you're having food soon. <laughs> Enjoy your food. I don't know what I'm having for dinner tonight. Mike has been ordering like all weekend and I'm suddenly having to make food for myself again. Food sued. <laughs> this sounds like Simlish. <laughs> so so. Oh, so the museum's gonna be real 
close to this. I don't know how I feel about that. Ah, uh, you know what? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll figure it out. I could do a double layer of wall for the second lower layer. I don't really know if I need to. Yep. Lobo and the... Uh, or, uh... Dobo and Lobby. <laughs> You're having pasta? That sounds good. But yeah, for now we'll just do a triple... uh, space like, uh, cliff edge. And yeah, it does cut off the side beaches, but at the same time there wasn't a side beach in Animal Crossing GameCube, so... Playing pasta with corn. Oh boy, that was a, that was a moment. I remember exactly what I was doing in Spyro when I said that too. <laughs> Bad game. There we go. I figured I'd make it like a little bit more not as straightforward. <laughs> I need context. I remember watching that series, but I don't remember that. Uh, so someone came in and said they were having plain pasta with corn. And I added a P to a word in that sentence that I probably shouldn't have. And I think the mods all heard it right away. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else picked up on it. Oh, is the clip not around anymore? It should still be around. That was during Spyro. I was doing like one of the worst levels, I think, in the game. And uh, I was a little bit distracted, I think. And that came out. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think anyone else caught it. I think it was literally just the mods who were like, what did you just say? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> did you not catch it until you told us? I, I really, like, if I say something dumb like that, I'm, like, usually pretty good. Sometimes I'll, I'll laugh at myself and then I'll, like, have to, like, out myself. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. But not every time. <laughs> But uh, that's, that's, I guess, part of the fun of streaming live. <laughs> and thank you for the follow as well. Welcome on in. Played it off so well. <laughs> I, um, when I used to record, like, I wish I had kept some of these. Um, but I used to have so many bloopers of, like, my YouTube content. But of course, like, you know, you guys never heard it, it was all edited over or fixed. There's so many dumb things I've said. <laughs> Did you never twig that one, Rosie? Let me watch it. I haven't seen it in a while. I don't know if it's going to come through on your guys' end or not. Oh, my green screen. I missed that. <laughs> I like how I just go, cord on the cob. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Not family friendly if I ever do stream because of that, and I never realized either. <laughs> Um, so it's kind of funny the way I have things set up here. I'm super close to a window and Oh god, what have I done? I shouldn't have moved that There we go, um Long story short the window and the wall are pretty far away from me But the base of the window there is a heater that goes along the entire wall and uh, It sticks out too far and like my green screen's really awkward um Pretty much I have to cut off like a whole bunch of my screen to have the green screen go up, yeah. The window to the I'm glad I'm not the only one who's thinking that. <laughs> Pepper. Um 
but yeah, no, it's it's because of the location I'm at. If I could move over my desk, like, I don't know, like a little bit, it would actually work, but. You prefer the no green screen? I was actually reading a Reddit post about that earlier today, just like what people prefer. Um, and I think it really does come down just to personal preference. Um, it's a lot easier for me to not do green screen, but I think it also can look much more professional. It depends on what's going on. Um, I think what I'd love to have one day when I have my own, like ideally <laughs> in the far off future, um, in a land far, far away, um, I'd love to have um, a setup where I can pull down my green screen and put it up and just like instantly be in green screen mode. Um, but that takes quite a bit of planning and work, so. Yeah, I like having my gaming collection too. I was talking to Mike about it, and eventually that's the other thing. I want to have like uh, shells with like the lights on them and stuff and like make it really pretty, so. I wouldn't be able to move things. And I love moving everything. <laughs> like green screen for games like Breath of the Wild and such, yeah. For overlay, I don't feel like it's as important. Just got a big brain idea for the green screen, yeah. Fake books when you get your graduation photo. You know what, actually, if I really wanted to be sneaky and I really wanted to use a green screen, I could take like a really nice picture of my shelves and just like superimpose it behind me. <laughs> Um, but that sounds like work, so probably won't do that. But it would mean I wouldn't have to tidy my room, not that it's ever really that messy. But if it was. <laughs> okay. So we're going to have to move this down as well. That's something you would do. <laughs> um, I've seen people do it before. It's actually really cool because they can like make it look like they're in different locations or whatever. And like, that's pretty neat. Make it look like you and Rosie are on a couch. We could. We'd have to get like the angles and everything right, but we could do that. It would just be quite a bit to work it out, but the idea is there. Uh, God. Maybe I should wait until this is moved to finish this, <laughs> this cliff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the idea I had was having the cliffs going down the side. I could make this taller. In fact, I might, but it would kind of cut off into this space a bit, I feel like. Yeah, we started that really recently very very recently every other friday so it just happened this last friday it'll be the next one on i think like september 3rd or something like that so they're just gonna wake up and see a cliff in their face they're gonna be so you know what it's gonna be like actually the amount of times i went afk in minecraft and i came back to one of the mods usually max but like one of the mods <laughs> who were like burying me in like dirt or or gravel or something where i stood I see you all. I haven't forgotten. Max, <laughs> I didn't know you were in here. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't call you out. Alert. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's true, you did. See, this one's only too wide, so it's like even maybe a bit weirder. Oh wait, is it too- no, it is too wide, okay. I can count, kind of. Max has ascended to be a withered cow plant. <laughs> it's all good, Phil. It's all good. I 
feel very withered too. That's a mood. Just in general, everyone's like same. Oh, see. Yeah, you know what it works. go okay so this one's gonna be kind of janky random gamer enjoy that lurk thank you so much for being here i've not got the thing where i have too many so are you now or you not got the thing? Because <laughs> if you don't have that, I'm very jealous because I definitely do. Yeah, it's weird that September is already here. I'm not really here for it. I know a lot of people really like the Halloween season and all that fun stuff, but I don't like fall. I like winter. Or I don't like fall. I don't like winter. There we go. I like summer. <gasps> oh, wait, Boots' house. Uh oh. Issues. We're running into issues. Okay, no one panic. I love autumn, but it's crazy fast. How? Uh, it's crazy how fast this year is going. Tell me about it. Oh wait, never mind. No issues. We're good. Crystal, I know dreads winter. <laughs> I really just don't like it overall. So this area on the map is going to look really janky, but but Christmas, like even then, it's just, I don't, I don't like the cold. I don't like the long nights. I don't like the lack of sunlight. It just makes me upset. Wear your scars and stuff, comfy clothes. I do miss wearing my hoodies. I have to admit, I've had this urge to wear all of my hoodies recently. one of those people who prefers whatever currently isn't going on. All at once, yes, I'm just gonna wear all of my hoodies in one go. I miss my Luigi's Mansion hoodie. I miss my blue one. I miss my Eevee one. Be able to actually fit into them a bit better this year, which will be nice. Not me wearing a hoodie right now. See, even with the AC on, it's it's too warm to be doing that in here for me. Love the long nights, don't at me. I don't know, like when I was younger, it didn't really bother me. But now that I'm older, I'm just like, I really dislike the lack of sunlight in winter. It really gets to me after a while. <laughs> Pepper's like claimed this one. If anything ever happens to me, that hoodie goes to Pepper. <laughs> Love winter because of snow. There's no snow. You hate it? Yeah. And you like the lack of sunlight? It, to be fair, it does make it really easy for, like, when I'm streaming and uh, that sun comes in, I don't have to deal with that so much. The sun hurts. <laughs> Honey mode is the saddest thing. So it'll look like Boots' house is kind of carved into a cliff, but we're not going to worry about that. Oh wait, this house too. I guess. Edgelord. <laughs> yeah, this section's kind of awkward. Winter gives me anxiety. Oh, driving, yes, if there's snow. So I'd like to spread this out to be wider, I think. Just 
So it'll go out to like here, give or take, if we're making it too wide on this side. But then again, maybe, mm, I don't know. I'm very indecisive with this. I think we could get away with three wide. Maybe I should just stick to two. Turn on the heater. And I love the white noise of it and how cozy the house feels. That's totally fair. What are the signposts? So in the original Animal Crossing, there were signposts for where villagers would eventually move in. Um, and that's what we're representing. Yes, Rosie. Like the warmth of here dries out my skin so bad. Yes. I actually, it's funny, we used to have birds. We used to have budgies. So we got in the habit of not having candles around the house, and the birds have been gone for years. We still don't have candles. <laughs> I have not yet, Rosie. It's it's literally in my bullet journal to do after stream today. I actually have it written down. Um that's my fault, sorry. <laughs> I hate it because my room gets too darn hot and I used to- or you don't like using your ceiling fan. Love me some Christmas time, the decor and the music is so cozy. Definitely can see that. That is a big bug on that tree, jeez. No, I also, like, I noticed myself getting more dried out in the winter too. Uh, which never used to be really an issue. Disney at Christmas, though. PC, dump of the factory reset. Oh, no, I haven't done it yet. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. You got it. Okay, so we'll decide if we want to have another layer on this. I'm kind of saying probably not, even though you can see over the edge. Um, I think we'll just... We'll probably just leave it. Um, and then we'll do this. should look a little bit better. Oh, you know what? Maybe we'll do one up here, too. Oops. So I step on a flower. Blay, have a good day at work. We'll see you later. Thank you so much for hanging out again today. Man, I was looking over at the time. It does not feel like today's stream is flown by. Maybe that's just me, but like, usually I feel like my decorating streams go like maybe a bit more slow. What am I doing? I'm making the cliffs. I'm making the cliffs right now. Oh my god, no, today is just flying by, but I did have a lot of fun starting off today with Animal Crossing GameCube, and like seeing the island again was super fun. So, happy we had that chance. Uh, and... So this is the area I was thinking potentially doing, like, the island on. I don't know, I'm second guessing myself real hard on that one. We'll have to see. Because we're going to need to fit in... That's not the right picture. <laughs> we're going to need to fit in if we look at our map here. I wish I could have a button that would cycle through these really quickly, but I don't. Um, 
Well, I guess we only need the police station, actually, and that can go, like, right up here. So, never mind me, that works. CC, what game you- oh wait, you got- you got Spirit Fair, right? Wait. Or is it a different game? I did go to the island, yes! I'll try to make sure that the episode is uploaded, uh, for hopefully early this week, this coming week. So you can see that. We'll be going more often to- oh, I'm so confused, I thought her legs were going through the chair for a moment. I know you guys couldn't see it past this, but... Hey, Jade, how's it going? Um, for now, we'll leave the campsite there. But yeah, this is where the police station- maybe I should start outlining the police station. I don't really know what we're gonna do for that either. I think it's gonna be more simple panels. Um, but it's a pretty distinctive area, so. What island? The island in Animal Crossing GameCube. Um, and we named it Lily Bell, by the way, for anyone who missed it. Um, so we're having, like, that lore is like, you know, that island becomes this island eventually, and yeah! I thought it was cute. Oh, I would put down that pass, but I still haven't figured it out. <laughs> so let's just not, let's just, like, outline where the police station's gonna be and pretend that I know what I'm doing with my life. Where's my outline? Did I save over my outline that I made just yesterday? I am not like this, okay. All right. Um, I was thinking I'll probably see if I can't get some sort of design boards, like the custom board tall things. I don't remember what they're called. Um, if not, the original police station kind of looks like a can, so I could like fish up a little can and put that down and just have that as a joke. <laughs> Um, I'm not really sure yet. Tall board, thanks. <laughs> Me when I don't know what to call something. I literally made one of these just yesterday. Uh, eating my pizza and realizing it's not cut right. Two very skinny pieces, two regular pieces, two that are almost as big as my face. Oh. oh my goodness, Rosie. <laughs> now you need pizza. Pizza does sound really good right now. I have to admit. There we go. So we'll just kind of like outline the area we want to do. For the police station. I guess it doesn't really need to be that big. It could probably be like a 3x3 three three building. Building. <laughs> or it could be a tiny tin can. So. Um, and then, like, down... I could just use this as the design board, but... Or the map board, but I probably won't. We'll have, like, another one right there, maybe. Um... So that's good. I see. So Able Sisters is going to be moving. That'll look really good. See, the only thing with having the island on that side that I don't really like is that I have Captain's Dock right over here. And I don't know if it's kind of weird or not. Although I could really easily put down... Uh... Coconut trees and stuff. I'm, I'm getting more and more tempted by the day <laughs> or by the moment hearing, uh, seeing the island earlier. How 
would we do this? So like we could have like a little river cutting through and like a we can't really do a mini bridge, but we could make one by hand. Now you really want pizza too? This is gonna look really janky, mind you. Tonight for all. Loki, I am here for it. Whoever to, ooh, there needs to be tool hit indicators. Just literally, that's all I need at the moment, Nintendo, please. the sign. Hello, how's it going? Look at how cute that emote is. I shouldn't be laughing, but I do when you mess up. It's okay. It's all good. Things are going really good. We've been having a super chill stream. Just working on our... Uh, island and just kind of hanging out getting stuff actually done which is nice Something wants the Smash Bros. Brawl has this masterpiece select or section where you can play demos of some of the virtual console games, usually with a time limit. Time limit on Ocarina of Time is five minutes, but somebody actually beat the game. Oh, wow. What sort of hacks were used there? That's crazy. That's really cool, though. I didn't know it had a section like that. OG Switch keeps overheating in the dock. Oh, so you can't play on your island. That's the worst. I'm uh, a bit nervous about that happening with my other dock as well. Um, or with my other Switch, sorry. It, it tends to get super hot. There we go. Just a little section like this. Maybe even like a little bit of a, of a, of a waterfall. Moon jumping. <laughs> I really hope Moon Jumping Friend is having a good day today, wherever they are. There you go. So just like that, just a little, little mini section and we'll have like a little itty bitty little itty bitty bridge going across bridge <laughs> is what we're gonna call it new one having uh that one so i can transfer my save data yeah gonna wait until the oled i could see like that would be a good option i think What do you mean, moon jumping? Uh, we had some guy, or some person, I should say, come in while I was playing Breath of the Wild, and they were so insistent that I learned how to moon jump in the game. They're like, you you gotta try it. That's all they want to talk about. There was nothing else in their mind but moon jumping. And uh, I just hope they're having a good day. They were fun. <laughs> you made some interesting characters on Twitch, and they were definitely one of them. Uh, a wrong rap to credits where they basically rewrite the memory by doing certain things in games so when they do something else the game will simply load the credits it's just like i don't know i'd love to know a little bit more about what was going through their mind at the time but i don't think we'll ever know <laughs> i wonder if i could i need like the wood bridge pattern but
I don't think this will make a good replacement. It's actually not that bad. If I could face it the other direction, it'd be a bit better, but... Yeah, no, I guess we'll use normal wood. we go. This actually doesn't look that bad. Really. <laughs> I'm actually not actually hating the little campsite area we just made. Amazon package. When I opened the door, I swear it felt like someone was shooting fire in my face. Ooh, yeah, the heat, right? Um, uh, okay. Let's let's go ahead and bring out some bells here. We're gonna need them anyway for uh I should probably put Tortimer back down too. <laughs> He's been wandering around with us this entire day. Poor guy. He's meant to go by the town tree. Oh no, don't show up oh poor Tortimer. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. That was very rude of me. Poor guy. There you go. There he is. Yes, five on pre-order. Oh my goodness, I'm very jealous. <laughs> An ACH switch, a gaming steering wheel, a gaming chair, stack of games. Yeah. Yeah, somebody. <laughs> I'm very jealous though. I've been trying to keep an eye out for a PS5 and still haven't found one. Hopefully soon. Okay, anyway, we need monies. You could always put the gravestone item where Tortimer stands. No. <laughs> Poor guy. He's fine. He's fine. He's living his best life in his retirement. He'll be fine. Yeah, Courtney, it's, it's, I can believe it, but I also can't believe it. Last year hasn't really gone the right way, time-wise. Okay, so my bank isn't even anymore, but that's alright. And we're just gonna go ahead and pay off this bridge up here, and then hopefully... What I'm probably gonna do over the next week, and I'm gonna try to remember this time, what I'm gonna try to do over the next week, um... Is, uh... Move stuff and delete the bridges. Actually, probably I should just delete the bridges and the stairs. Uh, so next time we come on, we'll have a bit more room to work with. Store server that pings and someone got uh, stock and my mom was able to get one on the website part and when she went to see if they had a controller, everything was gone. Oh my goodness. It's absolutely- it's crazy. There we go. Yeah, I think the only console I actually pre-ordered before was my initial Switch, I think. Um... And maybe the ACNH switch, but that wasn't by me, that was by someone else. Um, but that one, it, it, was, it was coming out on my birthday. <laughs> um, so like, I knew I wanted it that day. I remember waiting for it to like, arrive in the mail was the worst. I think it got there at like four in the afternoon and I've been up since like seven waiting for it. <laughs> Just incredibly hyped. Um. But yeah, I don't really know where I'm going to move the campsite now. I might try to shove it behind Town Hall. Um, because if we do find Plucky, um, this would be where her house is going. And yeah, yeah, they're really hard to find right now. Shagata, what snack do you got? Um, so let me take a look. That's not my map. 
That is not my map. I should have a separate button just for the map. Um, there's nothing really behind the police station or to the right side of it, so I think we could get away with doing this. Just on a stream, I watch you play Sanchi again. Makes me so happy. I'm tempted to go back to my own ACNH save. I just restarted earlier this year, but I later forgot about it. I really hope that you have fun if you do go back to it, honestly. And thank you so much for uh, for joining us. Um, because yeah, there's a lot more room here than really there should be. In fact, I should probably even bring this down even more. small bag of ooh mini chocolate chip cookies that sounds amazing right now and thank you for the follows by the way welcome on it have my siblings help me step over time i was like careful every two seconds you think it was the baby or it was a baby the way i was about it yep definitely absolutely and uh that day i remember we streamed uh Breath of the Wild, because that was like that was the launch title, right? And it was just it was so magical. <laughs> it was really fun. I think it was the I think that is actually the first console I had ever gotten on launch as well. There we go. Bring this down maybe a bit more over here. Let's see. Wanna know my favorite thing I own? Yeah, for sure. New SD card for my camera. My older one's only 4 gigs, so upgrade to 64. Can have 4 hours of footage now compared to 15 minutes, that's great! Also, Rosie, wait, I want to ask you, when you got your camera, did it come with a battery pack that plugs in? Or did you buy that separately? Only one in the box of assortment of snacks, and I snatch them. Although no one in my house cares for those. <laughs> You have a little hamster. <laughs> Courtney, he did, yes. <laughs> he did indeed. Uh, so this is where the stairs are gonna go. We can bring down this side a bit as well, I think. Hey, talking real, how's it going? What is this emote? Who is this? Oh, that's your emote! That's so cute! <laughs> My goodness. Oh, come on in. I hope you're having a good day. Had to buy it separately. Back in the day, the SD card cost me 100, and today I got a 64 gig for 18. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I know Mike and I were talking about that when we got our uh, SD cards for the Switch. How long is it going to hold down? Going to take? It'll. It'll probably take a while. I'm really hoping to get it done by like before the grass changes for fall properly. Um, because we have a, a design on the ground that has a grass border to it, and I don't want to find another one. So. Eight gigs of storage was amazing. <laughs> Simply on Discord. Yes, please do. I used to have two hamsters, and they're just, they're little fluffy balls of cuteness. <laughs> Bring myself to redo a cliff. I feel like terraforming, that was me when I first started. And then when I started getting into it, it was, it's very addicting. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is quite a bit of space, so we could potentially just move the campsite back here and just... I don't think there's any villagers that'll spawn back in there, but I should probably check that before I start moving, so... So yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's put the campsite, give or take, back here. And maybe have some room so that we could have some trees around it. 
Is it four? How big is it? Let's see. It is... Uh, yep, yeah, that looks like four. I'm guessing it's like by three, give or take. There we go. So default, like it's it's not really set in stone, but we'll probably put the campsite there because I don't know where else to put it. Um, and then we'll go villager hunting for Plucky next time someone asks to move out who is not Boots. Or I have so much attachment to these villagers. I don't want to. I don't want to get rid of Bob or Gaston. <laughs> um, I think Ed or Julian would be next up for me to want to move out. So see how that goes. I kind of want to make this waterfall a bit bigger. Gaston is in this town. Yeah, we went hunting for him a while ago, and I think I hunted for him on stream, and then I decided to hunt off stream as well. And we finally found him. I think it was like the first island I went to off stream or something silly like that. Like it just, he didn't want to be on camera. He was camera shy. <laughs> Clues have been sent. Awesome. I'm looking forward to checking those out later. There we go. Made that a little bit bigger. Just by a smidge. I wanted to pop my ears, but now they really hurt. I hate that when you're sick. That's the worst. If you get plucky in your campsite, uh, then I'd be lucky. And she'd still be plucky. Just something, something small like that doesn't need to be anything fancy. Finally got the island land I've been looking for for literal months. That's awesome. Very nice. Lucky with plucky. <laughs> Yeah, that's looking pretty good. We can probably move some of these up too, actually, while we're here. Ollie's good. He's good. After scaring me last night, he's perfect. Um, he is out with Kiara and my mom right now. Thanks for Hamlet's on the island. Oh, that's going to be really nice. My bad girlfriend if I made pizza for myself, but only soup for random. I'd say no, because I know he doesn't like pizza. If he doesn't like it, he doesn't like it. <laughs> oh, I thought that stick was a tarantula or scorpion. I guess it would be. Actually, is it scorpion season yet? Or is it still tarantula? Why'd he scare me? I have no idea. He just freaked me out last night. <laughs> Did his eyes actually change? I've never seen that happen before. What happened to Ollie? I had a night terror last night, so I woke up from a dream and thought I was still, like, I was seeing stuff from my dream still, I guess. And uh, Ollie happened to climb up onto my legs at that exact moment, and I panicked. He's fine. I'm fine. But, like... <laughs> He scared me. I think I spooked him. My poor boy. I didn't kick him, no, but I was moving my feet around under the blankets and he thought probably it was a game, so he was attacking my feet, which made it worse. And you got your heart bopper. So cute. There are scorpions that says almost bought by one. Oh dear. <laughs> Haven't seen one in a, in a while, but knowing me now that I've said that, we'll spot one. It's also really bright in here right now, like IRL, so it's harder for me to see in the dark on screen. 
Um, so let me think here. I think Julie, or no, sorry, Rod is going to be the next villager we're going to want to move. And then we're probably going to look into the ones. Uh, so I think it's Maddie and Walt who are kind of like blocking the way right now. I almost put my laptop on top of Fred because he was asleep behind it. <laughs> oh no. Um, yeah, and then maybe next week what we can do, you guys, here is our plan was to get the four or three other villagers in, but we're going to recreate the ones from the Animal Crossing GameCube trailer um, in North America, which is the silliest thing if you've never watched it. Um, I just need to get them moved in, so. Break this emote. I think it's really cute. It's like, you, when you when you like hover over it and you expand over it, you can see how much detail is in it. I like it. Alrighty then, you guys. Looking at this time, I think that's actually about everything I felt like doing today in town. We have met Plucky, <laughs> so we know who one of our villagers is going to be, hands down. Um, Oh, it goes away by itself. I didn't know that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we saw some fireworks. We did our cliffs. We redid the river, which is the big thing. Um, and I think off stream, I'm going to have to sit here and stare at the paths and try to figure out what I'm doing because I have no idea. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to wrap up here. Um, but if you guys want to hang out for two seconds, though, I would love to go and raid someone. If you guys want to join me, please feel free. Copy down the raid message. You don't have to use the emotes. If you're not subbed or if you don't want to, that's totally fair as well. You could use your own. Um, but let's go say hi to someone. Let's go say hello. Who's live? Uh, let's go see. Ooh. I'm a little bit nervous because she's really cool. But there's a streamer by the name of Mother Moon. She's not family friendly uh, for anyone who cares about that. But she's really cool and like... I'm a little bit nervous to raid, but like, let's go say hi. Let's go say hi. <laughs> I'm always nervous raiding someone new. So Mother Moon's really cool. Um, could we? Yeah, just copy down the raid message, you guys. It is uh, simply press raid with the Bobby emotes if you want without if you don't have them. It's cool. Um, thank you guys so much for being here today, though. Tomorrow, I guess we're starting my time at Porsche. Dare I say, I need to do all the stuff for it tonight, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I really hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Have a good one, everyone.